guys today we're gonna make Moroccan fish this is amazing dish so we can make it from any fish but for my opinion the best three type of fish to make this dish is if you like salmon cod or sole and before we're doing anything else we just, you see, this is the salmon, two pieces I have. It's just my family today. We have two pieces of sole. Today, this sole is very thin. Sometimes it's bigger. We serve it, we're not cutting it. We just take whole piece and we serve it in the plate. You're gonna get in love with this dish, anything. We're gonna put salt on it. Now we're gonna put pretty big amount of salt. Okay, and we're gonna spread it like this on the fish because we need it to be salty with the dish. And while we, we uh, cooking our vegetables, our fish gonna be a little bit salty. Okay, we're putting pretty big amount of salt because after it's just gonna go to the pot in, and it's not gonna stay on the fish. Now we're also putting pretty big amount of lemon on the fish and all that goes in the plate. We're not, we didn't even start cooking yet, okay? So we're just putting on the fish we mixing it like this so we can see that all covered and we're gonna leave it for a little bit until we're gonna get to it there is another way especially if you cook thick fish as a like cod or thick salmon you just buy the fish day before you put you don't wash it you put a lot of salt on it like a good amount of salt not just a little bit good amount of salt and you put it in freezer and then the next day when you start cooking you just wash the fish and put it to, to cook and it's already salted inside even after you wash it so then you don't need to put salt at this stage okay okay now we're gonna prepare our dish so as i said because our fish is thin we're gonna make our vegetables first and then we're gonna add the fish if our fish was thick, we would put here the fish now at this stage. So we took one um, potato, we peeled it, and we slice it. Like around half inch each one, and we put it on the bottom. You can put as many as you want. You could put two, three. I'm putting one because it's just, you know, for touch. It doesn't have to be here even. Now we take one big carrot or you can take uh, one or two small carrots. Then you don't have to cut it for so many pieces. I'm cutting it for quarters like this. It needs it. And we put it, I can even cut it for in the middle. So this is a lot. You don't have to put so much. You could put one small potato, uh, one small uh, carrot. Okay, you see that? Let me put it here so you can see. Now, we'll put, we'll take two plum tomatoes and we also, not carrot, is not necessary ingredients in this dish, red pepper. We're gonna put for this amount, for two pounds of fish, for this big pot, which is like flat. This is very important, by the way, the pot. The pot is flat, but a little tall and uh, wide. It's very, very important. You basically can't make Moroccan fish in different pot. It has to be this pot, okay? So we just cutting the paper, this uh, shape, you see? And you filling it up. You need to fill it up so all the bottom will be covered there will no be you know those holes in the pot so i'm guessing in for my dish 
I will for here I will have I will need maybe three big like that or four even we'll see now so as I thought it was four big uh, red peppers what we put now we take garlic the whole head of garlic I'm, I have already peeled one but you can take and peel fresh and you spread it like this as many as much garlic you have now is very important stage we our Moroccan fish is spicy it can be spicy it can be mild it can be not spicy at all but the original Moroccan fish have to be at least a little spicy so it depends how much spicy you like it this is how much jalapenos you put it now I need to teach you something very very important when you buy jalapeno look at that you see this I, I hope you see it you see those lines you see those stripes as many of, as you have of those it means the jalapeno more spicy so this one I'm guessing like hot like fire if your jalapeno is beautiful and green and doesn't have any lines it means it might be very very more likely not spicy at all but every jalapeno you must taste you must so how we taste not to burn our tongue we're taking jalapeno and we did with the real just the oh um the our tongue like this we touch just a little bit if you touch more and it's spicy you can burn yourself this is didn't burn my my tongue so it's not so spicy because even from this little little tiny touch could be burning my mouth so let's try the other one this is very spicy very very spicy and it's burning my mouth so what we gonna do so we probably so we just every time you need decide what you're doing we can also put red hot pepper as well as you see i'm cutting it in the middle but look how we're putting it it's very beautifully we're putting it together with the with this thing we just put it inside it's more beautiful this if you don't like it you can put less so this is how it looks now to take we take two bunches of um, cilantro we cut it not small we make it big like that we don't chop it very very much small you see like that we take half of it and we spread it like this just half of it the other half we're gonna leave to put on our fish now now at this point if we had thick fish we would put it here on top like that but we're gonna do it in the later on um, when when all the vegetables gonna be already cooked then we're gonna do it because the fish is thin and we don't need it so much um, time cooking now what we do also we take one lemon we cut it to quarters or eighths whatever you want and we also put it in the dish like that look how beautiful it looks now the dish is ready to go on the okay now at this point we're putting our pot on the flame on the fire and we turn on on medium we don't put it too high but not also not too low medium and this point we're covering our pot. If for the first like five minutes we just cover it like this so the vegetables without the water will start to uh, be a little soft okay. so at this point let's listen what we hear look you see our vegetables because it's covered started to give smell first of all and some liquids but now we're gonna add more liquid so we take boiled water so we're not getting it cold again and we're adding cup of water I think it should be around the cup how we know it's enough 
when we start to see that the water is here. The water is peaking a little bit here, you can see it. Okay, then we know it's enough. It shouldn't cover it. Just to be like half. Now we leave it without cover anymore. And we just on medium, medium, medium low, we're letting it to soak a little bit to be softer. Actually, if here was the thick fish now, we wouldn't cover anymore. We would leave it open like that. But because there is no fish, no problem to cover, we'll cover it for a few more minutes so it will cook faster and then we'll open it and leave it a little bit uncovered as well. So the water will go a little bit away. Okay, now we're gonna open the cover and from this moment on, this dish cooks without cover. We'll cover it when it's done and we just wanna save it for later. So if you see, the vegetables are became a little more cooked already. So almost done, okay? Now what we're gonna do? We take a cup, not small cup, something pretty big. What we're doing is we're putting red paprika, but <clears throat> don't be afraid don't put just a little you have to put almost half cup almost half just a little bit less we take turmeric okay turmeric and we put just a little bit like this we need to put full glass of oil vegetable oil now that we put it like this you see the paprika is on the bottom and it's not melting. So we need to melt it with fork. And it's better if the glass is clear so you can actually see if there is any, if there is any crumbs left or side of the oil. You see, now the cup is not full again. So we're filling it up more. So it's a lot of oil, I admit, but without that, the dish not gonna come out good. We're taking this oil and we're spilling it here. Now, if the fish, the thick fish was here, we would spill it on the fish actually. But um, because the fish is not here, we're just spilling it like this all over. And very soon we're gonna add our fish here. I'm gonna cover all the vegetables with this oil. The, the flame need to be medium, med medium, medium low, but more to medium. We wanna dip all of it in the oil. We can even do like that because the fish is not here yet. So we can actually do that. Okay, now our vegetables instead of being ready for the fish. Okay, if you wanna see it closer, here you go. We take the fish with the salt and lemon that we put on it. Because we put a lot of lemon, the salt got melted with the lemon and it's not really salty, it's more lemony. And also all the salt gonna dissolve also in the sauce, so it's fine. Because the fish is thin, as you see, we're probably gonna put it one sometime in two layers. But let's put our salmon first, like that. And we continue with the salt, which is thin. So when it will fill the whole um, space that we have, we can just put second layer. Don't be afraid to put second layer because anyways, um it's too thin so it's like it's like we're gonna have thicker fish now very important stage what we're doing is we're taking the oil you see and we have this this tablespoon we're gonna use it uh, the whole cooking process 
Every few minutes, we do it again. Okay, now we take another lemon, not necessarily, but you can do it, and just put more lemon on the fish. I like a lot of lemon on the fish. And our other half of the two bunches, basically our another bunch of, uh, of um, cilantro, we put on top and we spread it like this. Now we take this our spoon and we put more oil on top, okay? So this is the process. It has to be covered with the cilantro, with the lemon, and all the time have to be covered with a red liquid. If you see the liquid is not red enough, listen, it's very important. If you see it's not red enough, that it's like orangey or watery, it means there is not enough paprika. It means that you were scared to put enough paprika and you didn't put enough paprika. So you, first of all, you always find like this corner like this, where you can take a lot of oil and water. And from there, there you take and you basically put on every piece of fish and don't forget any piece of fish. And as I said, you do it again a few times. If you feel it's not red enough, you can also do like this. You put just like this, you can put a little more paprika and put oil on it. You can even take an oil and add a little more oil if you feel it's not enough oil and it's more watery. It shouldn't be watery. And now in this process, the water gonna dissolve. It's gonna go away because it's on heat and the oil gonna stay more. So you see how it's, it looks. At this position, it can be actually 15, 20 minutes until it's done. Don't forget, we leave it open. We don't cover it. We just all the time uh, putting it like this, the oil on the fish. So no piece of the fish stays without. So our Moroccan fish is ready. Let me show you from the close-up. This is how it looks. It's amazing. I hope you like this recipe. And I'm sure you're gonna like this recipe if you try it and taste it. And also I'll show you in the picture how to present it on the plate and how beautiful it looks. So if you like my recipes if you like my way of cooking if you're not bothered so much of my accent and my not perfect english i would love if you subscribe to my channel and we just continue cooking together thank you and have a great night